James. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Sippo. David. Shanti. Shantrika. What? We're rolling in here deep this morning. Oh, my goodness. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I see all of you. And I want to say to the replay viewers, good morning and welcome. So glad that everybody is here. Good, good, good. Let me know where you're coming in from, guys. And share this out. Good morning, Lisa. Are you ready for our session today? <laughs> yes. Good morning, good morning, guys. I am Sensei Sabira, coming to you from Baltimore, Maryland. Yes, what they call Charm City. <laughs> oh, that was funny to me when I first moved here. It was like Baltimore, Charm City. Okay. Hey, Nell, how are you, my love? Good morning, good morning. Guys, I'm here every morning, 8.30-ish. I'm a Pisces, so sometimes it's 8.30, sometimes it's 8.35, but right around there. Oh, y'all, you want to get beautiful before a photo shoot, you got a wedding to go to, something like that, you guys need to check out Shandrika if you are here in Baltimore. Shandrika, please put your link in here so folks can find you. You got an event, something like that. You guys, right after uh, all of my heavy, heavy, heavy treatment, I was in this calendar. What was that, Shandrika? Back in 2013, I think. And Shandrika is a beautiful, amazing makeup artist here locally. Um, and she just gave me the day, a day that I will never, ever, ever forget. Prepared me uh, for this photo shoot. And that means a lot to somebody who is coming on the uh, for the tail end of breast cancer treatment, that means a lot to, to a woman like that. So I will never forget that day, Shandrika. It is like emblazoned in my mind and in my heart. Guys, I just want to tell you, give her a call if you're getting ready for your wedding or whatever the case may be. Shandrika. So anyway, with my blind self here. All right. So guys, what are we going to talk about today? You guys know that I'm here to support you, um, small home-based business, spiritual entrepreneurs who may be transitioning from job to uh, working for yourself. And it's so important that you be able to tell your story in a way that is attractive. Bigger than that, even I've been thinking about this a lot. It's even bigger that you be able to live in a way, live in a way that is that utilizes the law of attraction, where you are always conscious and aware of the law of attraction. Guys, it's not just a marketing thing, right? A uh, law of attraction, um, a marketing method. It's not just that. And that to me is what makes it so different. That's I think what people, either they're missing or they don't, it, it's easier to do the other and at the same time harder to, to market in other ways where it isn't about you. It isn't about you personally growing and developing. It, you know, nothing wrong with PPC, nothing wrong with, you know, all these other cold calling and, and um, going to networking events. All of that is great. But if your approach in all of those ways, in all of those other ways of, of, of marketing, if who you are, if the way you live your life is repulsive, is not attractive, is neutral, and believe it or not, neutrality can kind of be repulsive. Have you ever been around somebody who's just like, mm, just pan face, just, just like, mm, I don't care either way? The universe responds to action and activity and excitement and thrill and praise and all of that kind of stuff. That is how you can activate the environment before you even get into it, before you get to a networking event, before you get to a sales meeting, before you get on a coaching session. How you are and who you are, how you be, just how you live. You guys, Attraction marketing is about shifting your whole beingness. You can't just say, I'm going to just turn it on when it's time for me to talk to a potential client 
and try to get excited because I want to make a sale. No, it doesn't work that way. Your beingness has to be one of authentic and true excitement and passion about what you're doing and love, not only for the game, but love for the people, right? I knew that when Chandrika was working on me, she loved what she did. I mean, she came with this box. Uh, I mean, it was just this huge box of makeup like I had never seen. And I felt like a kid with crayons and she was getting ready to paint all over my face and just, I mean, she beat me for the gods, as they say, right? She just beat my face. It was just, it was so fun. I for literally in that moment, in those hours, I forgot that I had no breasts. I forgot that I was about to get in front of a camera and take my shirt off for what was going to be produced was a calendar that was going to go who knows where in the world. But her passion, her enthusiasm, her love for what she does for her game, the way she came to that experience, get, got, got me excited and joyful. And, and, and again, like I said, just forgetting where I was coming from. Michael, oh my gosh, in Hawaii. Brother, how are things in Hawaii? How's it going? Tell me, tell me that, Michael. How's it going? I'm praying for you guys over there on that island. You know I love that. Hey, DJ Phil. Welcome to the broadcast. Guys, do me a favor. If you haven't yet, please share this out. I haven't even gotten to the good nuggets yet. Y'all gonna have to hang out. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys too. I have a special gift for you. For those who stay to the end, and the way I know you're gonna be here at the end is that you're gonna say, give it to me. Give it to me. Don't say it now. At the end of the broadcast, say, give it to me. And I'm going to uh, give you a link I'm going to send you a link personally for something that's going to help you in your marketing efforts. It's just, it's a roadmap, but I think you're going to like it. I think you're going to like it. Okay. Created it just for you guys. So anyway, the law of increase, how do we activate the law of increase? You want more customers. You want more people to serve, right? You want your team responding to you in a better way. You need to activate the law of increase, and the law of increase is activated, you guys, by drum roll. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? If you're ready, give me a roar. If you're ready, roar. Y'all want to know what activates the law of increase? Roll your business. Hey, I need to see some roars. Uh. What? Shantrika says Studio 924. Yes. Amen. Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Tanya. Good morning. Give me some roars, y'all. We get ready to talk about this law of increase. Okay. What activates the law of increase, you guys, is praise. Praise activates. Praise activates the law of increase. You want to sell more of whatever you got? You want, oh, hey, Desiree Lee is on here. I know that's right. Y'all, Desiree, drop your link in here. Y'all, Desiree just got back from Nigeria. She creates authors all around the world. She has an organization called AIB Nation. AIB Authors in Business Nation. You want to look her up? You want a book published in 24 hours or less? Call Desiree Lee. She'll get you done. All right? So, hey, Jay. Hey, hey, hey. Great. Praise activates the law of increase, right? Here, here's some things about that. So you, you guys remember the, the story when we were um, kids and then Hollywood took it a step further and made a, move, a, sh a television show that went on for years, I Dream of Genie. So you got this little boy out in, 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 in the desert and he stumbles upon this lantern, right? And he's rubbing it and rubbing this lantern briskly. You got to understand these stories are metaphors. These childhood stories are metaphors and they give us direction if you know what you're listening to, all right? Listen to the story. He's rubbing it, rubbing this lantern, briskly rubbing it. And then all of a sudden, whoo, this taft of wind comes out. The rubbing, you guys, is praise. It's praise. You want, you want to enchant something to come out for you, to respond to you positively, then you better praise it. 
You better tell your team how great they are. Every time your customer does a baby step, every time your customer buys something from you, that's $2. Praise them. Oh, that was a great decision. You did wonderful. Your team does something. You say you're working with somebody, you're a coach. And your, your mentee does a, 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 little, a little three foot toss. They make a little step forward. Praise them. Every time your child, anytime you praise something, guess what? It expands. This is, the, this is a physical law, right? This is physics in action. We ain't got to play with this thing like it's not real. They put it, they wrapped a story around it so our brain can understand it. That's the power of storytelling, which is why I'm telling you guys, you got to get good at telling your story in the marketplace. Why? Because you start activating things like praise, just your tonality, all of that increases and people get excited. Okay. It magnetizes the ethers that are around you. You walk into a space and like I said at the beginning, you're flat. You're like, mm, yeah, that's great. Day's good. Got to work today. Mm. There's no expansion happening in that. You walk in and you're excited. You walk in and you're happy. You walk in and you are looking for the good and calling the good out. You're recognizing it because most people are just not even conscious of the good around them. We're so programmed to look for the bad and the, I mean, it's in our DNA, guys. We're wired that way. We really are. It's not your fault. You got to understand that. It's not your fault. Good morning, Diana. Let's see who else popped on. You have to understand it's not your fault, right? We are programmed, the, the limbic part of our brain, I think that's it. I could be wrong about that part. I'm going to check. But anyway, that animal part of your brain where you're in like primary, it is wired to keep you safe. So it's looking for danger, like you're still out in the wilderness somewhere and like, oh, life is so bad and dangerous. We're still wired that way. I think it is a limbic. And so you go limbic and you're like, that's all I'm looking for. I'm on heightened. You walk in, nobody want to do business with you. Nobody want to buy from you. You scaring them. Shandrika made me comfortable. I was happy. And so look, I'm on here now and I'm shouting her out. I'm praising her up. I'm sending you guys to her link. Why? Because she impacted me. Um, Five years ago, she impacted me greatly five years ago, and I'm still remembering it and talking about it. And hopefully her business will grow. Hopefully a couple of you guys will call her because I'm excited. I remember I was touched. Her, She didn't have to praise me in words. It was how she acted. It was even how she touched me. It was awesome. Okay. Praise. There is a physical response in the body to praise, guys. So your customers, literally, their cells expand. Y'all, this is some deep stuff here. Wait a minute. Hold on. Because I don't know if y'all can handle what I'm telling you right now. You better share this out. Nobody's talking about this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nobody's talking about this in terms of your marketing and how you can make this felt even online, in your copy, in your graphics in your consistency, okay? The link doesn't work, what? Ah, okay, I'm gonna give you a new, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a new one up there, thank you. Who's that, Lou? It tells me the link does not work, oh my goodness. I'm gonna test, I'm gonna put a new one up so you guys, hopefully you'll be patient and you'll come back because you, if you wanna connect with me, forget about the link. Just say down in here, I'm gonna take what you always say, Desiree, okay? Put in here, I'm ready. Okay, if you were curious about that link, and for some reason the link ain't working, you guys see I'm not going to fall down and go, oh my God, my link ain't working, and it ain't working. Oh, well, you roll with it. You roll with it. Say I'm ready, and I will know that you wanted to connect with me, and I will connect with you. It's very easy. Okay, thanks for that, Desiree. I appreciate it. So anyway, I was saying, your sales, your customer sales, everything around you increases. The capacity of your cells, the intelligence of your cells, 
the strength in your cells. This is um, data. There's proof to this. It's not Sabir saying this. So guys, you can work with it or not. If you don't work with it, I'm telling you, it's going to be harder and harder for your business to grow. It's going to be less and less that people will want to be around you. Okay? Because this invisible ether around you, it responds to all of that. So it's either going to expand or it's going to retard. Right? You walk in, you know, just hot and excited and everybody feels that. And it's like, yes, expansion starts to happen. You walk in cold and shut down and neutral and everybody feels that too. And everybody gets smaller. Nobody's talking anymore. Nobody's open. So you cannot even make an offer. Your presence is not making an offer. Y'all know, you will notice, I don't actually, people who know me, who've done business with me will tell you, I don't ask them for a sale. I'm not going to do that. Either I'm attractive to you to the point, I want you to the point where you're asking me, oh my gosh, Sabera, how do I work with you? What's my next step? If you're not there, guess what? This is how I run my business. If you're not at that place, if I haven't gotten you so excited to that place, you're not my customer yet. You're not ready. You need to stay in the oven and cook a while. I want my customers excited for the opportunity to work with me, asking me, I'm ready, Sabira. How do I do it? What's my next step? And here's why. Because in utilizing the laws of the universe and utilizing the law of attraction in my marketing, in just the way I live my life, y'all walk around my house dancing just because. Because I'm alive, because I'm happy, because I'm able to work from home, because I have a business, I may not be a multimillionaire and all that kind of stuff, but y'all, I have the life People dream to be able to work from home, whatever your situation is. I'm living the dream. I really am. So what do I have to not be excited about? So I can go out into the world excited. I went to karate last night. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. We get to play with knives. Y'all see that? I got an, uh, I ranked up and got a certificate for uh, my first kata with knives. And then I'm learning to fight with sticks too. It's so fun. It's so fun. I feel like a big kid. Anyway, the last thing, guys, is that praise will change the way, you know, change your focus of a situation. Now, I'm not saying that challenges aren't, that we don't face challenges. They don't come up in our business. For some reason, we're like my, this link, right? They let me know the, the link is not working. Okay. That's a challenge I'm facing. I am live. I put a link that's supposed to be hot. It's supposed to be working in my description and it's not working. But because I, I woke up praising myself, I'm not waiting for somebody out there to praise. I'm the leader. I'm the leader in my life. You are the leader in your life. So wake up in your um, miracle morning, wake up praising yourself right? Those who know about speaking over yourself, I'm not going to wait for the world to praise me because it probably won't happen because most people don't live that way, right? And well, I got to say it does happen in my world. I have beautiful people around me. My students praise. So I am fortunate. I'm a fortunate. So I can wake up praising myself because I know who I'm going to be around all day in my business because I designed my business this way, right? Clarice and Rolita and Sippo and, and, and Dana and all these fo- the students that I work with, we create an atmosphere in, in our education. When I'm teaching them, when I'm coaching them, as I'm mentoring them, constant praise. I'm constantly telling them, look to the good, look for the good, speak to the good. I don't want any negativity spoken around me. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to take it in. It ain't that I don't know what's there, guys. I know that challenges happen. You know that challenges happen. My marketing this morning isn't working. But I am trained, constantly working on my mind to look for the good in whatever situation I'm in. How do you think I got through a 50% chance of dying with breast cancer? I chose to look at the good. I said, oh, that means I only need 1% to win. And I focus on that 1%. 
and I'm here today. So in summation, what I'm telling y'all, first of all, take a dance break and praise yourself if you haven't. If you're getting ready to go to work, be happy about it. You have an angel investor. It's nothing to be to be, you know, ridiculing that oh, I have to go to a job. Be glad. You know how many people are out there today that don't have a job, that wish they had a job? Praise the job. Praise yourself out of that job if that's what you really want. If you want to be out of a job and sitting in your office behind you, in front of your full wall, in front of your plant, in your office, then you need to praise the job. You don't get out of the job by talking negatively about the job and talking negatively about the people you work with. No, wrong. You need to activate the law of increase. What is good about the job? Every two weeks I get a paycheck and I get to take a portion of that paycheck and invest it in myself. I get to take a portion of that paycheck and invest it in my business and expand. Your business therefore expands without you being worried about, oh my God, I'm gonna keep my lights on. I gotta make a sale, I gotta make a sale. Because you can't take that in the marketplace. Praise is what activates the law of increase. Your business will grow. People want, will want to be around you, will want to work with you, will um, refer you to other people as I just did for Shandrika. A guy, uh, again, you guys, if you have a business and you have a link, please drop it in here so that everybody can connect with you. You guys can go out and follow each other. Let's get this community growing even bigger, okay? Law of attraction in your marketing. If you're not using it, and you want to use it, let me know that you're ready. You're tired of struggling. You're tired of trying to make things grow. You're, try, you're tired of trying to make people want to work with you. And you're like, I can't figure it out. It starts with you. You're the leader. It starts with you. And guess what? It ends with you. It really does. It starts with you and it ends with you. So, I hope you guys got that. Hope you got some value. If you did, if I said one thing, one thing that was of value to you, hey, Sue, hey, Amos, Amos, man, let me know when you want to get back together. And I did get your message. I'm glad you made it home safely. And uh, the coach in me is saying, hey, let's reschedule. So send me a, a direct message and let me know what your dates are, okay? And I'll get you on my calendar again. Anyway, guys, uh, if I said one thing of value to you, do me a favor and share this video out. Thank you, Nancy, thank you, Queen. Share this video out. Let other folks know, do not keep me a secret, expand. That's not right that you come here and you love this every day and then you're not sharing it because somebody else in your network needs to hear this. Not that they need to hear me, it's not about me, but they need to hear what I am saying because it will change the trajectory of their life. I know that. I know that's what I lived for. And so I'm giving that to you. So share it out. And I will be back here tomorrow again. Guys, you, those of you who are here to the end, give me, put a little lion emoji up. Put a lion emoji up. You stay to the end and I'm going to make sure that you get connected with, uh, the, uh, it's a free, marketing tool that uh, we created here for you. Yes, Amos, thank you. Yesterday, it's fresh off the press. Fresh off the press. You want it. So give me a lion emoji and you get it. That way I know the lions let me know, y'all, the lions, you stayed until the end. Oh, Michael, you're so sweet. So you go, girl, love what you're doing. Oh, five years ago. Oh, man, thank you, Michael. Wait a minute, I got to go back and read this. You, oh, I sound amazing. It's because I was in Hawaii for that time. Man, are you kidding? Hawaii was like the most healing place. Aligned with who you are, loving it. I had, oh, Michael's up and it's got to go to sleep. I know that's right. Wow. <laughs> I love you, Michael. I love you. Thank you for that. How beautiful. How beautiful. Um, and guys, also, if you would like to work with me, as I said before, I'm taking 10, 10, a uh, free analysis. I'll give you a free analysis of your fan page, okay? And uh, if you want that, again, just just 
let me know. I'm just telling y'all to do way too much, huh? I'm just doing way too much. Let me take a drink. It's hot out in Baltimore. Mm. <laughs> All right, so Shandrika, I'm going to make sure you get the freeness. Awesome, 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 guys. All these roars, I'm going to send it all to you guys. And again, if you want uh, free analysis, if you want me to look at your fan page, send me a direct message. I've just told y'all to do way too much. So directly talk to me. If you want me to look at your fan page, send me a direct message. And I will look at your fan page. We'll do a 15-minute coaching session. And I'll tell you what you can do on your, fan, on your not your fan page, but your personal page that will make you more attractive. Tanya, I saw yours yesterday. And so um, you and I will, I will send you my calendar so that we can do that, okay? I love y'all. I appreciate you. Thank you for stepping out today with me. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow.